Hello, still Huntress here, and um, just taking a break from painting and renos um, to make a quick video about um, some of the things I'm running into in the reboot of my paganism. Um, I've been a pagan for about 20 years, and um, I recently have started a year and a day study, and which is going fantastically well. I'm really enjoying it, and um, there's a Facebook group, so I can talk about it with other pagans, which I've never really been able to do before. Um, so that's really positive, and it's making me re-examine right from the ground up um, a lot of the aspects of my of my spirituality, because I have been a little more eclectic than eclectic, <laughs> and. Um, what inevitably happens when you are entirely self-taught and really don't know anybody who's pagan. And um, I've recently been challenged in so far as um, pushing myself out of my comfort zone and taking something and committing to it and, and not being so quick to dismiss things as no that doesn't work that doesn't that doesn't resonate with me and that's my the latest uh, pagan lingo doesn't resonate with me I'm moving on um, sticking with things for longer and re-examining the things that I brushed aside in the past so quickly and I've recently realized that I mean I do enjoy a minimalist altar uh, I have my Drayton candle and I have um, a candle for the for each side of the duality of creation which I don't like referring to as male and female I use I use a different dichotomy I use uh, cattail and water lily and for strong and assertive and receptive and emotional and it has nothing to do with gender. Something like childbirth, which is bringing something into the world, would be in my world cattail. Um, it's taking care of your family the way um, the main breadwinner does would be water lily. And um, it has nothing to do with traditional roles of masculine and feminine. And I have the four elements. I have a cauldron and I have a chalice but the two implements that never resonated with me as far as my altar were guess what the wand and the blade both um, both of them very cattail extremely assertive very strong powerful here I am this is what I'm doing didn't feel comfortable using a wand, never felt comfortable having a blade on my altar. So I've got a lot of water lily going on. And um, it's it's brought me to the larger question of, um, we talk a lot in paganism about what feels right, what feels comfortable. And in my case, comfortable has been inside my comfort zone. Comfort, comfortable hasn't been challenging and I realize I've been using that terminology to reinforce keeping myself inside my little box and not challenging myself and not um, committing to something when that something whatever that path is starts to ask things of me um, so yeah, I'm sticking with this year and a day for 366 days, damn it. Um, and I'm really, really trying to go deep with every one of the lessons, even lessons that I think I don't need to do because I've been doing this for a long time. I'm trying to take it and really be brutal with myself. And uh, if there's anybody out there who has any suggestions on how I can get into a comfort level with a wand and or a blade, um, how I can get comfortable with that aspect of my power, 
that assertiveness of my power. Because to be honest, holding a wand or holding a knife made me feel silly. Like I was play acting something that wasn't really me. And I think it can be me. I'm just not comfortable with my own assertiveness and my own power in that respect, that aspect of my power, that cattail aspect, the strong, assertive, this is who I am, you don't like it, fuck off, aspect of me, which I have a right to have. So um, I guess if there's anybody out there who would like to give me a comment as to how I can um, develop more of a relationship with a wand and a blade um, for my practice, as well as if there's any any um, aspects of the altar that you've never felt comfortable with, traditional altar pieces that you don't use for whatever reason, um, I'd be interested to hear it. Um, I can't be the only one who's looked at just the series of traditional implements and gone, mm, not that one. I don't think so. That's not me. So, uh, yeah, I would really like to enter into a dialogue with people because uh, I'm really liking the community element as a, as a long-time solitary. So, uh, thanks for any suggestions that anybody might have. And blessed be, I'm back to painting.